Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you have slow access to your network drive on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just off on the Start button one time. And you want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, should go back to registry editor. You want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in this tutorial, I would suggest creating a backup of your registry. So if anything went wrong, you would easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab. Select export file name I would recommend naming it the date that you are making the backup export range keep that at all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer and if you ever need to import it back in it's very simple just go ahead and select the file and then import tab and there you go you just want to navigate to the file location so now that you have made your backup we're ready to begin so go ahead and double click on the HK local machine folder to expand that do the same thing for the system subfolder here, so go double click on that. Same thing for current control set. And now same thing for services. Now you want to locate something that says Landman Workstation. Right here. And finally, double click on it, and there should be a parameters folder under here. Left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video at this point and take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone under up to this point to get to this parameters folder. And now we're ready to direct our attention over to the right side here. And we're going to go expand this one column by going in between the name and the type. And we're going to make it a little wider here. And you want to locate the directory cache lifetime entry. If you do not see one, and it shouldn't take very long to figure that out if you have one or not, we're going to go create it since we don't have one in our case. And in order to do that, just right click in a blank area on the right panel here, like you see me doing. Select new, and then select DWORD 32 bit value. Now I'm going to have this up on the screen in the video, or I'm just going to have it really zoomed in. So you can see how it's presented here. So again, directory, cache, lifetime. Notice cache is not spelled C-A-S-H, it's C-A-C-H-E. And there are no spaces. First letter of each word is capitalized. Hit enter on your keyboard once you have it as you see it on my screen. Again, feel free to pause or rewatch any sections of this tutorial if we're going too fast for you. And now we want to go double click on it and set the value data to zero. So this would be most applicable if you already had this value in here and it was a value other than zero because by default it should be zero when you create a new D word value. But again, just to be safe, make sure it's set to zero. You can see it in this data column here as well and set it to okay. Once that is done, you can close out of the registry editor here, restart your computer and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.